Today we're working on our Suzuki DR200. Now for any of you who have this motorcycle, you know it is slightly underpowered. Well, in this series called Mods That Actually Freaking Matter, we're gonna do a little upgrade to this one. And that is a 13 tooth front sprocket. This is going to give the engine uh, the feel that it has a little bit more pep. It's gonna be quicker off the line. Uh, for those of you that are a little bit new to this, this means you're gonna have a little bit of a quicker acceleration at the expense of some top speed. You're on a DR200, you're just trying to go through the dirt and enjoy yourself out in the woods. This is a perfect upgrade because you're not gonna hit you know, more than 50, 60 miles an hour in the dirt anyway. So this is gonna be a great improvement over the stock sprocket and we're gonna show you exactly how to do it. Sprocket itself, there's tons of them out there. They're about 12 bucks, best bang for your buck, bar none. So let's get into it. So all you need to do this upgrade is a few basic hand tools. You'll need a 19 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket, and an eight millimeter. First thing we're gonna do is remove the couple of bolts holding on the front sprocket cover. There's three. There's two short ones, top and the bottom, the longer ones in the middle. So now we're gonna remove the bolt for the front sprocket. You have two options here. If you do not have an impact, you can um, have a buddy of yours stand on the rear brake and then just loosen this as you would. But if you have a pneumatic impact, it'll make that uh, a lot easier to come off. So we're gonna tackle that right now. And there's your nut for the front sprocket, super easy. We're gonna pull this off. There's your old front sprocket. There is a correct orientation, so you wanna remember that you orientate it correctly when you go to reinstall this sprocket. Take your new front sprocket, get it in with the teeth, Wiggle it on there, take your bolt, get it started by hand. And again, if you don't have your pneumatic impact, have your buddy step back on the rear brake and we can go ahead and tighten this back up. All right, so we've got our uh, front sprocket reinstalled, the new front sprocket back on the bike. Um, and if you'll notice, we have way too much play in the chain here. And that's because we went from a 15 tooth sprocket down to a 13 tooth sprocket. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to tighten uh, our chain. Uh, and you're actually not tightening the chain uh, in actuality. What you're doing is you're simply uh, adjusting rear chain adjuster. So we're gonna do that now. First thing you're gonna do is take out the safety wire. Once your safety wire is out, you're gonna come back and you're gonna loosen the axle bolt with a 19 millimeter. Doesn't need to come off, you just need to loosen it part way. Okay, so after loosening the rear axle nut, we adjusted it from, uh, it was about at a one to a four, and I'm gonna show you what this should look like on the other side as well. So on this other side, uh, very simple, same thing. You're just gonna, we just moved it from the one to the four just to tighten up that chain a little bit. The other thing you wanna keep in mind when you're doing this is you might have to loosen your uh, rear brake cable nut on the end. It's just loosened with a 12 millimeter. So uh, just keep that in mind when you go to move the axle backwards a little bit that you'll have to loosen that and then retighten it uh, once you've got it adjusted in the correct place. Okay, so when you are adjusting the rear axle, to adjust the slack in your chain. You want about an inch and a half of play up and down. And this is about an inch. So I'm actually gonna go back and loosen it just a hair, just to get it right at that one and a half inch uh, adjustability up and down here. All right, now that our chain is adjusted correctly, we're just gonna tighten the rear axle nut. And again, double check to make sure both of your chain adjusters are in the same location. Okay, once your rear axle nuts tighten back down, don't forget your safety pin. Reusing these is a little bit of a pain. If you have a bench vise, you can straighten it up a little bit before you try and get it back in there. That might help you out. All right, very last step is to, of course, put on your front sprocket cover. And remember, shorter screw goes at the top. I know you saw me take it off with an impact wrench. I recommend always reinstalling it by hand. So short screw at the top short screw at the bottom, longer screw right here in the middle. And we'll get those snug up with a wrench. We'll be good to go. All right, as you guys know, all the gear, all the 